Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of the Bibliophiles. Before I begin my review of this book, I'm going to give a brief lesson or brief history on a um, historical figure known as Alexander III of Macedon, aka Alexander the Great. <clears throat> you know, born and raised in in Macedon, he eventually becomes um, his father becomes allies with all of the various Greek states, you know, and um, eventually, uh, you know, his father dies being assassinated. You know, the Persians are blamed, I think it was. Yeah, they, were, the, they blame the Persians, although we now know that it's most likely Alexander himself who is responsible for the assassination because of... Um, you know, get like wanting to become the new emperor of Greece, or and, and um, anyway, he goes out, <clears throat> takes his revenge on Persia by basically just conquering them. <clears throat> and then afterwards, he just he decides that he wants to, you know, take over the world. And despite many <clears throat> many victories, he fails miserably at it. But in the process, he does con he does build one of the greatest, biggest empires that the world has ever seen at the time. And it's kind of safe to assume that if he had lived longer, you know, instead of dying like his, his 30s, I think, then he could have, well, he would have still failed, but he would have at least maybe conquered Europe and most of Asia or most of Africa or whatever <clears throat> but um anyway um the reason why I talked about him was so I could talk about the parallels in the Fitzpatrick's war by Theodore Judge <clears throat> now aside from the main dip from what the first difference which you're gonna obviously notice is that it's a the uh, steampunk dystopian post-apocalyptic future set in the 25th century <clears throat> is um, that that's just a uh, you know you know means of getting a the plot in there is, is, um, is um, unlike Alexander the Great Fitzpatrick actually succeeds in taking over the world and we can see how um, <clears throat> You know, he sort of lets all the power get to him. He starts thinking he can change history and, you know, um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, anyway, um, and there's, um, like, if it sounds like I just let out a big spoiler, I really didn't, because the entire thing, um, it actually is, um, takes place through, um, like, an autobiography around one of Fitzpatrick's close friends and colleagues by the name of Robert Bruce and occasionally you know uh, commented on by uh, I think this guy he said his name was Von Braun or this historian <clears throat> guy who's um, you know like every now and then he'll put in some little tidbit of information or <clears throat> or just talk about you know, like little events that happened, and occasionally, and just talk about how he thinks, um, <clears throat> and um, or get into a sort of mindset of your mindset of your average Yukon Confederate citizen person, um, <clears throat> and um, so anyway. But let's still, there's a lot of uh, good drama from the way the characters act and interact with each other um, <clears throat> you know it's um there's uh you know you can really almost see what's going on like with most of the other books that I've been reviewing and um <clears throat> you know there's um the drama and attitude that these characters have just it's almost like it oozes off the page and um anyway uh <clears throat> there's a prequel that's coming out or that's 
currently being made called uh, Tree Ogala or something like Tri Ogala or something. Anyway, um, <clears throat> and it's supposed to be like a detailing the fall of the United States and the rise of the Yukon Confederacy and um, <clears throat> like there's some minor stuff that I thought is kind of stupid like um like the reason why everyone's using steampunk technology in the first place I kind of head scratching at how they do that some sort of EMP type device with satellites or something I don't know but <clears throat> overall it's a very enjoyable very enjoyable very you know, it talks to its readers like adults, and I loved every page of it. And my final grading for it would be a 5 out of 5. You know, even like ni minor nitpick stuff like the steampunk, which I'm not normally a big fan of, and the reason why they're using it. But even so, it I loved it. It was great, and I highly recommend it to anybody who's say um or just just anybody <clears throat> anyway um till next time i'm the bibliophile jordan encouraging reading to a anybody who i can convince to watch my videos see you and have a nice day <clears throat>